Hello, everyone, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Let's Read. Today, we are going to be concluding our reading of Chimney Speak with the fourth and final chapter, Westminster. Hey. For, those that didn't, hey. <laughs> For those that didn't join us last time, we... Well, the rogue fucked a lot of bitches. Chelsea traded the midget in for a Russian mob, and then Elgi got kidnapped and tortured, and then there was lesbian sex. That was it. Pog? Yes. Pog. You missed, you missed a good episode. I recommend going back and watching that. Twice. Yes. And then once more. And remember to like and subscribe. Alone. It helps our channel grow. Always. But anyway. Smash that like button. Smash that motherfucking like button. But uh, today, we have with us our usual crew of Stanton High. Hello. Sasquatch. Greetings. How are you guys doing? And Psychomate. What's up? And also, we have a very special guest with us today. I have captured his soul and essence inside of our magical eight ball. It is my boy, my old friend from Bolivia, Louis. It's a.k.a. Pone Hanon. Let me shake it up so I can see. He is trying to tap the jar. It's not a jar, you fool. It's a oh, magic no, he's in the ball. jar. The jar? <laughs> no, the jar. don't go in the jar. I would not do that to you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not a jar, I swear. Uh, for those who don't know, um, Lewis is actually a really good friend of mine. Well, I say good, but I haven't talked to him in a while. But... Uh, <laughs> I especially think that he'd be he's especially a great guest for us making quite a, few, a number of his own comics. Let me see if I can remember them. I don't know if you yourself was, you can confirm this or not, but are you part of a Mechanical Maiden or was that just uh, the other guys thing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there was Mechanical Maiden, uh, I think it's Light and Dark, and Big Bun Burgers, which is the current thing that he is doing right now. If you're tired of uh, censoring the sex that is in Chimney Speak, you should go check out his Twitter. There is quite a lot of bunny butts in there, and boobs, and burgers occasionally. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a link for that. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Here he is. Yeah, I, I've been following him for fucking years, if only because our our artistic paths kind of followed the same trajectory. And I'm glad to see him grow. He has been recognized as a local artist in his in Bolivia and has been in a few magazines. And before, you know, all that COVID business, he was actually attending a few cons, if I remember correctly. Nice. So, yeah, nice. if you're ever in Bolivia, go check him out, too. Give him, yeah, go, go find him, him. Bring him to big America so he can live a proper life. What if he's doing just fine in Bolivia? <laughs> uh, you know how I know he's not? Hey, Lewis, how are those vlogs coming along? <coughs> he's screaming in his magic eight ball. This poor ah! man. Uh, this poor man. Putting him in this magic eight ball was the best decision ever. It is his ticket home. We're going to smuggle him into America. But anyway, without further ado, let us read Chimney Speak. Ah, sweet. And start us, to start us off... We continue with the useless rogue. Uh, Psycho, why don't you take the role of the useless rogue? All right. And I'll be the pink-haired lady. What accent did Bray use? Uh, he didn't really have an accent. You can't expect oh. Bray to use an accent. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, he know. just he was just himself. Huh. Yes. Maybe I should do an accent? Sure. He is uh, He's like a roguish kind of commoner for the Grin household. Mm. He's the squire. So maybe I, I could do something a little British. Yeah. The old hotel. Vices and sins for men and women alike. Seems like the perfect place to wet our various whistles, eh, Fred? And perhaps learn the location of our Marvine mistress. Good morning. I require an assortment of fresh crumpet. Both of those come with boobs and butter. we shot. Fuck off. And yet, all I see is a swath of sultry specimens. Six to seven, the boss lets coppers have the run of the place. I mean, the girls hand out freebies because the night watch something to look forward to. And it gives the morning lot a nice wake up. 
Having the police on his side makes life a lot easier for us. Well, my satisfaction is royally subsidized, and I'm sure you'd enjoy the monarchy on your side too. Fine, enjoy yourself. Just don't wind up any of the bobbies. There must be an area free from prying prehensiles that we could retire to. I admit my inexperience with creatures as opulent as you are. Pfft. You think your scraggly ass can handle these kids? Sure, I can spare 15 seconds. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I <I'm>, oh <laughs> Alright, now we get to the good uh, stuff. Oof. Oh boy, sounds like someone shoved something up Emily's ass to replace the stick that's usually up there. Getting dressed, which is quite rare in this comic. But she's come to speak with the midget. Come here, you silly sword. This bring back memories, eh? Yeah. Remember when we were young? You'd end up fighting out every John that thought he could get away with not paying his scales. That was fun. That's all I want to do, Elkie. Get back to the way it was with you. We used to have loads of fun. Me and you and then Suka. Parties every day and making money and chopping up bad guys. We are the bad guys, Alice. I always thought we were like vigilantes. Other people just did what we did for money. But we were like a service. Kept people happy, gave them a place to drink whatever, and shake whoever they wanted. That's pretty noble, right? Fuck! Okay. <laughs> More sex. And now Suka's awake. Uh, still me. Uh, I'm not adding them. Well, that will be easier. Just block out the entire left part of this page. It's fine. I know it's hard to see sometimes, Elki. But we help a lot of people around here. Thousands of girls in London are able to live well because of us. Not to mention all the workers that keep the brothels supplied. Food, booze, new clothes, furnishings and fabrics, opium, everything. Everyone that works for us gets to live nice and comfy little lives. All the good that me and you do far away any bad stuff, right? Oh, I guess so. Oh, more sex. <sighs> Finally. Oh, uh, it covered the one good part, the, the most important part. Ah, uh, sad. Blocked. Vag blocked. Yeah. <clears throat> Incredibly satisfactory. Well done. Who are all those guys? Uh, Elena? Suka, stop! Uh, oh my god, she threw a midget. Who does that? Apparently she Why does, does everyone throw midgets? Hey. Ah, convenient. That is a nice dress. Yeah. Well, I think she had it last time. Surprised the snipers didn't kill the rest of those Russians. I thought they were all dead. Eh, they're kids. I think they only got like two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Grin. Stuart. Me. Huh. He's still naked. <laughs> What happened to your face, my lady? You're all broken. It's nothing. Just a scratch. Oh. So you cook. Lads, quickly! There's a bunch of Russians outside! Orange, eh? Probably up to no good, Sarge. Yeah, I'll sort them out good and proper, miss. Come, little man. We've got a monarchy to overthrow. Uh, nah. I'm done with all this bollocks, getting cut up and blown up and beaten up for nothing. I'm taking a day off, then I'm bare on my face now, it's chest for a month if that's okay with her. It looks like he's not wearing pants in that frame. Which one? The, uh, the rogue. Yeah, he's yeah, completely he naked. He's naked. He is naked. He oh, he, oh from, shit. <laughs> I thought he uh, was wearing pants. I thought he put yeah. on pants in one in the nope. and after that. Well, wow. he did. Apparently. Oh, he uh, did. And he was like, "Ah, screw I it. knew it wasn't just me." My uh, yeah, he, who, all, he said, "Who are all those guys?" And ended up naked. So, damn, he no, he, all those guys took off his pants. He came out in preparation because uh, when he saw Chelsea, he knew to take off his pants. Mm -hmm. Damn, you seem to forget our agreement. 
Wanna fight me again? I won't miss your fucking head twice. No? Then fuck the lot of ya. Should we chase him, my lady? Not say. We have a small army and more guns than we can carry. He was more trouble than he was worth. I can see why you like him. Have you gotten fatter? Perks of not being some hideous outlaw in good food. Very clever. Usually I'd simply cut people like you for shooting me, but I think I'll save my energy for the upcoming coronation. And you'll get to be the one person on Earth Queen Grin didn't think was worth killing. Perhaps that little blow to the esteem will make you purchase some real clothes. Ta-ta. False alarm. Sorry, lads. We'll stick around for a while if you won't, miss. Sure, have another free hour on us. Huzzah! Huzzah! Ah, that man looks fucking dead. <laughs> he's already, he knows, he knows which one he's picking. You, Ian, <clears throat> now, to Elgi for finally taking some bloody time off. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Make sure you try that, Elgi. It's lager. The Germans swear by it. It's like champagne made out of beer. <laughs> Don't know what the hell you'd be looking for that nutter for anyway. Well, the Grins are big up north, mate. They'll keep the mines open, keep the mills going, all that bollocks. Yeah, but they're a bunch of thieving murderers and all. Which is why the northerners like them. Well, it's nice just to have you back, Elgi. The girls missed you. Maybe we can have that game of Shadow Buff soon. Still buying kids and everything. Don't know how she can resort to stuff like that. Oh, come on, Elgi. That's barely illegal. I was sold off to roll barrels. Ended up running me own bar. You were sold off to that fake jam factory till you murdered the owner. Or Winston came over from America. You think a bunch of kids under Alice would have it bad? Not that she does it anymore. Gave them all away to some money man at that gala the other day. Heard it was because of you busting her balls all damn day. Oh. I'm not sure if that makes it better, but okay. She changed her mind. That's kind of better. She's yeah, like, actually... No. No, she yeah, actually... It's still no, she gave, got rid of the business. It was explained... It was revealed in chapter one. That was in the oh. bit where she was dancing with Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. No, she got rid of the business, so... Maybe you should just talk to Alice about it without waving your knives around. That might be a good idea. Now you listen to me. The one fucking thing you're here to do is do what you're told. And the one thing I asked you to do is, is bring Elgi back to me. And if you get jealous because I'm hugging him, you are a fucking moron. And the one type of person I can't abide is fucking morons. You disobey me again, and I'll have your little head on, on a spike. I can do everything little Dobo can do, except I can reach high place. You have me. You do not need an ugly dwarf man. But the difference between Algi and you is that Algi isn't an idiot. Then I'll go there, I'm but... Mr. Smarty, so smart man, yes? Now ah, I got hit. Did Alice just... Yes. Why would you, and then we why start would you slap someone who's known for? <laughs> because, well, she's done worse. She shot it's Chelsea. It's gonna in the escalate. Room. This is gonna escalate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, Tamoya Malinka. Whomp. Quack. Dun 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 dun. Should we intervene, Sarge? Do you want to intervene, Jenkins? Fair enough, Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, oh, no, that's Bottle, not fair. Gun. Oh. She's got a gun. Bam. No, oh, he's right. Shit. I'm acting his left. Give me a sec. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm, I'm okay. Just give me a second. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm... Ah. 
shot straight through the head. Surprised yeah. that no one has done that before. He's supposed to so shot through the heart. She got the no. no, she went for the head. You should have gone for the nuts. <laughs> well, she's dead Not now. Yeah. Suka's now dead. Rest in peace, Suka. Told you it was a love triangle. <laughs> and it ended in death. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, we let missed out on a fight with Chelsea again, so... <laughs> Helgi! Uh, Don't get a fucking ambulance! Kind of a bit. What are you against yourself shot for, you silly sword? My bad. You'll be alright, Helgi. Please be alright. Don't promise anything. Ouch. Hmm. Sometime later. She looks cuter in those clothes, actually. Well, she's in a hospital. She ain't working. I can't tell, Elke. I can't tell if I want you to stay alive or if I'd rather you did make it. And finally get some rest. I don't think I'm that lucky, Alice. You know, given how many times a man's been stabbed, shot, and I blown think he's up, gonna go through. He's no, the I'm, worst. No, I'm surprised that this is the first time he's been in an actual hospital. You're alive! You're bloody alive! Ouch! You stupid bastard! Give yourself shot like that because we're sick. Sorry, boss. Give me a minute, and I'll... Uh, maybe two minutes. Lay your ass down, Elgie. You ain't had enough grapes. Got a sick person? Give him grapes. <laughs> Got a yeah. grape here in the mouth. It, I thought that was a meme. No. That's, that's I don't know. legit? That's real? That's a thing? I don't, I don't know. That's just what they said <sighs> in the comic. I, 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 what, where's the grapes coming from? I don't understand. Yeah, because uh, Elgi was trying to look after Chelsea, and they were like, "What do you, what do sick people, what do rich people like? Grapes. Got a sick person. Give them grapes. Give them grapes." Yeah. Wait, I don't grapes. understand. <coughs> it's obviously been a, who? Who's this? Who's this person? Who? Uh, the woman. No, that's Alice. She had a haircut. This is the first time she's seeing him. Even though he's been in the hospital long enough to grow a fucking beard. No, I don't think this is the first time, but yeah. She's acting like it. You're alive. I don't know. I don't think the, I don't know uh, how any of this works. The length of time to grow a beard doesn't fit. Yeah, to be fair, this whole chapter it's kind of slapdash. Like there's <laughs> especially in this part, like you can I had the feeling that it was meant to be drawn out a bit longer, but it just sped up. And there's, you'll there's see a, a better example of this later on. The strange timeline conflict. I don't know. Maybe he just grows hair really fast. He's been um, shaving every day. Uh, been a good few days. Yeah. Well, you're the cliche, but how long was I out? Uh... Fucking knows. I've been saying the whole time waiting for your steep ass to wake off. Good few days at least. Right. I reckon we need a holiday, love. Something nice and warm. Sea and sand. Or at least with smaller pebbles. Lots of lager. Kill them. Kill them. The Highlanders are here. Kill them. Dun, 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 the final, the final battle with Chelsea. Oh, shing! Oh, she broke the sword, and and she changed her dress again. But I, I guess that. Hey, man, you gotta be fashionable when it comes you to your bloodshed. You be, you, have, you have to have a battle dress, you know. Yeah, battle dress. Except well, the other dress you. she had was more of a battle dress. This is just more <laughs> like a 
form. Yeah, this, is, this is kind of casual, actually. This is her day dress. Yeah. Ching, slash. Punch. Kick. Stab. Oh, no. Shunk. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, just like old times, right? It's oh uh, no. <laughs> oh, she is dual wielding. My God, she's twice as strong now. Actually, given that those are fucking big ass swords, that's pretty strong. Nice. Shink. Then put enough weight on it. Wait, what? Uh, wait, what? Indeed. Let's just say people die here. Yeah. And then... Wait, no, yeah, this is indeed... This was indeed the page after. I don't know how this happened. This is what I mean by poor choreography. And also slapdash. But... What? That okay? Yeah, just go with it, man. There, are yes. you sure there's not like two pages missing there? No, I'm sure. No. I'm, I'm on the website. Uh, According to the website, no. The answer is no. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I mean by this being like the slapdash last chapter. That's a shame, dude. Like this is the. This this is the crescendo. Like this should be. This like, is what set up the entire fucking thing. Yeah, if you're gonna draw anything out, like it, this is what you make. This is what you draw out. Like fuck. Eh. But that's what I mean by the useless rogue. Cause he had done absolutely nothing. He's not even in this fucking fight. What the hell is he? I don't know. And the Russians aren't here either. But yeah. It's, it... I oh, think yeah, this they is... just disappeared. Yeah, this is the part where I think Jack D- Jack Kalis gave up. Damn. He got kind of tired. What a very unfortunate place to get late uh to like get not I guess lazy. I think he just lost steam. Ah, yeah. oh, damn. That, that's that's strange though, man. At that yeah. point, it, uh, losing I feel steam like... at the ending, don't don't you like hype up your climax? That that's like the highest point of tension. That it's like you get you lose your steam there. Yeah, spend more time uh, talking with uh, with or focusing more on Elgi and Alice. The Magic Eight Ball says that it does tend to happen with pro- some projects, ironically at the later stages, and I too can attest to this. Like uh, it, even in January, like. Like with the final scene with Mike and Lucy, like that could have been a lot longer. We could have explained more things. We could have talked about more things. Yeah, but it's more like just get it done. Oh my god! Oh my uh, god! There's no one coming out of the eight ball. What the fuck? I, I was gonna, I was gonna mention that like it has happened to me. For example, there was this uh, Spanish red comic called Rib that was hyping up to this like really nice climax with all the characters, but like. The guy just rushed it to the point that it was just two pages and it was over. But from what he said is that he got caught up with other stuff. So he had to basically wrap it all up. Not because he wanted to, but, you know, she yeah. got in the way. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. Hey, and this motherfucker Last right here. Put- Maybe it's just you see the goalpost so close, you sort of just like rush to it. Yeah, and and it's it's messed up because most people expect that stage of the story to be the most you know satisfying, like the reward for going through everything. But for the author, it's like I'm I'm close to it, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem to just wrap it up. Yeah. No, finish That's strong. Fun. Finish strong. I'll give them credit though; they did a lot of work, which makes me wonder if they still got like more stuff right now or if they got any new pro- <gasps> wait a I mean, second if you're talking about Jack Kalis um, yes he, says, he hasn't had a fucking webcomic as far as I know but he did release a game like years ago the, the, the crazy part is that I bothered to actually check on attack I follow him right now 
Gives me yeah, I think. a lot of the goblin barmaid thingy. Ah, what what is he up to? He's he's been mostly just uh trying to just have fun in terms of doing not people work with some characters, but he's not done anything particularly you know storytelling. So I'm quite shocked. I didn't know that he made like a full comic. That's yeah, right. It's over. It's all done. I figured that it was probably motivation, if only because also like if I because I when I was looking for like an archive of Chimney Speak, it was kind of hard to find for a minute. And so like I think the once the I think once the comic was done, it just didn't renew the license the domain. So Yeah. It, it it does happen, especially because keeping up the domain is not as helpful because you're just constantly having to pay for it. Um, yeah, and you're getting like dwindling returns or diminishing one, returns every time. One, one thing I was going to say that I thought it was smart is that uh, the guy who did the Spanish by comment, I told you, when he stopped paying for the, for the domain, it kind of switched to the free version of the host he was doing. So oh, yeah. the only thing that changed was the URL, but you still can read it. Actually, I'm just going to yeah. look for it so I can just share it. Yeah, share I it. plan on like um, submitting a Google Drive because I'm because I copy, I save every single page of, of the webcomics that we read, or at least the pages that we've read, so mm-hmm. that if these comics do get like lost to the lost to the wilds of the internet. They're still readily available and we have an archive of them. That, that'd be good because that way it doesn't get lost. Uh, Cause there's been uh, countless times where there's been comics that just become lost media because once they go off the net, no one has them or people just have a few pages in between, but not the full yeah. thing. Yeah, that's why I was really happy. That's why I was kind of thankful that um, E Hentai is so lax with their copyright shit, and uh, yeah. I actually had a fucking archive of this. The the thing is that there's a lot of things that are just in print that are in E Hentai, just as much right. as there's stuff from lost websites that just you don't find it anywhere else. You gotta basically read it on that side. Yeah, but I mean that's kind of the uh, that's the give and take of pirating. Uh-huh. You know, at least it's better than this one fucking website that I checked as the, the first website or the first hentai website that I found uh, had a whole archive of chimney speak and even the additional content like the uh, the paid books that you could you, know, you used to be able to get and stuff and like guest comics like uh, fun fact the artist for Blaster Nation actually did a guest comic for chimney speak. Big throwback okay. to the first comic that we read. I don't know if any of you guys even remember when we did Blaster Nation. But yeah, that was the weird thing. It's like um, on that side specifically, I was going to like use that and yeah, have that be our links, except that they put a fucking watermark on the damn pages. And I'm like, um, oh, you piece of shit. That's not fair. That's a new level of, of shittiness right there. Right. It's one thing to fucking rehost. Like like content like this, it's another to fucking throw a watermark on it. What are you? It doesn't what particularly you? help because if that's the last remaining things of said content, basically, yeah. uh, then yeah. that's forever stuck there. Yeah, which is why I'm glad that Ehent I had it, and that's why we're. Well, I'm not throwing the link into the YouTube. I don't think they would appreciate that, <laughs> but. Uh, that's why we I, we here at Let's Read recommend that you read it on e-hentai.org if you can, if you are of age, which I presume that you are. Right. <laughs> anyway, we still have the rest of the comic to go through. Let's do this. We could say you, you know, get some money wired over, start again. There's probably something poetic about the two of us ending up in a giant prison. Smaller than that these days. Good money here. People come in voluntarily. Almost like a nice version of London. I saw a place that did lager here. Ice cold and really sparkly. Easy enough to set up a deal with them. And you can have little barbecues in the brothel's garden all day. What about back home? You run the business. 
Yeah, it runs itself these days. Technology being what it is, Londoners will always need a quick shag before breakfast. You reckon you'll be all right to bounce for this new place? Sitting around skiing off a drunk or two sounds like a nice way to retire, away. It's not like we'll be doing nothing illegal out here. I haven't done one of these in a while. What's the plan? You go in all front, keep everyone busy. I'll sneak around the back. All right, well, be careful, guess. Be careful? All right, all of interest. That's what I get for teaching you how to fucking read. I'm here to see Mr. McKenzie. Do you have an appointment? Just tell him his wife is here to see him. Ooh. Hello, Governor. Uh, Alice, darling, what are you doing here on the other side of the planet? I just came to see how my little hubby is doing, Santa Cron. You didn't get my letter then? Oh, I got your fucking letter. Chop, chop, mate. S- sorry, I've never been robbed before. You're on a prison island, you should probably get used to it. Oh, hubby, didn't I teach anything in London? No need to be afraid. Uh, actually... There is one thing. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, hubby, you thought I was going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I've simply come seeking reimbursement. So did they just do this final scene and they were like, we need something here. Let's just take her shirt off. Well, no, she was always like, she was always naked. And no, 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 what I mean is like, no, what I mean is like, did they, uh, I, they just there's walked no in reason off the for beach. her not to wear, yeah, but oh, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is there's no reason she shouldn't be wearing a shirt, I guess. Actually, it was kind of, if you remember back in that part, chapter two, there is this, she's sunbathing in the, on the roof of the hotel and she says. Yeah, I remember that, but it's like, if you're going to go rob somebody, you. Usually you put a shirt on. Yeah, she hasn't done it in a while. Uh, well, so, you know what? I also, shouldn't be complaining. I'll shut also up. Also, it's uh, obli- they have to. They, there is obligatory tits and ass in every segment in order to, to v- justify this as a lewd web comic. Can't Understandable. Have it it's just. Can you imagine going through this whole epilogue with like little black bars underneath Alice this whole time? No, well, they won't see that even because we don't use black bars. I'm just ha- I use Sam's sensor Sam's. Oh no, oh my God! Word on the grapevine says that you were paid handsomely to release a certain purple-haired lunatic from prison, a lunatic that cost me a hell of a lot of money and nearly killed my hetero life mate. So we'll be retrieving that money and setting up a working girls subsidiary. Here, and as an incentive to not do anything silly, we'll be putting your name all over our books, just in case they want someone to blame for their lovely new enterprise. Or, we could kill you and take all your money, okay? Ah, okay. Guess we need to find the work. We dug those graves pretty well. Wanna go become undertakers? Guys, I have a cunning plan. Oh... I say we falsify a telegram to all of the Grins, fa- friends and family, saying that they've business to attend to in Africa. Then every so often we update them on their colonial status and keep the mention to ourselves. What about if someone comes knocking? Same deal, we'll just show them off and use the Africa excuse. And then we go back to emptying the wine cellars, eating every pig that'll ever exist, and shagging uncontrollably. Ah. Uh. Mary. Uncontrollable sex. The, Actually, is that a good ending? That's a good ending for them. Wait, so he did do nothing this whole time. That's what the I meant. Useless he, rogue. Useless rogue. He is the most useless rogue ever. Hey, he did something. He had more well, he sex than anybody of- in the entire comic. That is That's true. true. He is the man who made this comic have sex. He is, he, he even, is the hentai protag. Even... LG, like, that guy, that guy fucked them all. He's a legend. 
if that dude doesn't have an STD. He's, the he's, useless he's rogue had... may not be a main character, but he is our hero. Oh, they didn't have STDs back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, funny how the STDs only started coming around about the same time that condoms were invented. Big think. Hmm. Mm. Bonnie, the nameplates you wanted. In broth for the gold. Why are your eyes wet? Sad. People died. Bran died. Why? People died. Here's what we do. That's what the Highlanders are for, you kin. We fight and die for the English till we grow old and retire. And the, and the more of us die, the few of us they have to pension. We all knew this prior to getting in, and the moment we got out, that's how it is. Aye, but it's still sad. Why? It's still sad. I Rest in peace. Sad. Rest in peace. F in the chat. F in chat for Dank. Oh, hey. <laughs> there we go. Now F's in the chat for fuck. <laughs> I ain't enjoyed that in a long time. Should have had you on staff, love. Sad. Elgie fucks Alice better than Suka. Um, yeah, she actually seems pleased in this one. It's not the size of the ship, it's the motion of the ocean. Hey. No, that's not the line. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, we got a couple troublemakers downstairs. I'm on it. Oh. Little bit right in Elgie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's just a blanket. He's, na- he's probably, he's actually been naked, probably. I wanted to say please and thank you next time. The new old hotel. New old. They make a good team, you and me. Took 16 years to figure it out, but yeah. Hopefully the next 16 will be a little smoother. Now, since all our interruptions have been taken care of, get back to work. The, the end. end. That is he, it. She got tired this, of This is literally the ending of the- And Then They Fucked. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes. She got tired of the lesbian sex, so she went back to real, the real question here. Was the artist definitely afraid of drawing vaginas? No, no. <laughs> I don't think so. This I don't is, remember a single vagina. This this was an R rated, X rated comic. Yeah. Hmm. It was it's just a cock tease. I mean, I would you know what? I, at least it's not I mean I would also make the comparison because there's another comic that kind of does the same thing, which is Menagia 3. But except if you replace all of the action bits, the all the action-y bits and the cartoonish violence and just cartoonish act-ish art style for a Archie's sort of artist art style and Archie style humor and drama. It's a lot worse, let me tell you. A lot worse. It gets boring very fast. And that's when you really notice that there's no that there are no vaginas. It took us four episodes to figure out that there were no vaginas. Or pe- well there was the shadow of a penis in the last one, but that's it. Uh, it maybe it maybe it took you that long. I knew right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. I, I could tell immediately, because it's kind of like one of those things. Like, uh, this doesn't seem like the traditional about to show, like, full bear type situation here. Yeah, Yeah, it's not slip shine, sadly. It's more about the story. It's really about family. Lewis, you can come out of hiding now. We've done, we finished reading. Yay. Yay. So what did you think? Is our special guest. I thought it was a pretty nice read. I didn't know about this project. So I'm probably going to read the, the other chapters as well. Oh, yeah. Um, you'll want to. There's like old child trafficking for one chapter that they keep bringing up. And then there's the Russian mob, the, the Scotsman, and... Bitch, sad to see the payoff be like this, but you know, 
it is it is what it is, you know. At least yeah. there's other good things to check out about this. And you know what I will say that you know it, it, as slapdashed and hurried as that ending is, like it still finished it, and that is still an accomplishment given how many fucking web comics never even reach the end or are afraid of ending. Right. Like, and they're just in a limbo. Yeah. Like some of them. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, Psycho, what did you think of our comic now that we've reached the end? Well, I can say that I was surely invested in a way or two. But the art was, uh, it got kind of really cool sometimes. I liked yeah. fashion that um, was shown, even though it really wasn't like explained. But it was the fashion was cool. The uh, like this whole like under not underground, but more like this whole crime uh, scene. Grimy. Yeah, it was all like ah, uh, no one here is actually like uh, doing anything legal. But it's like, wow, well, what the hell? It's you know, we just go with it, and um, the action got really well. The action near the end, sort of, you know fell out yeah. like in the beginning in the middle oh boy that action was spicy oh yeah i think it kind of blew its load uh no pun intended <laughs> all the more ways than one um and especially in camden where with the uh, with the bombings and stuff and the exploding horses and chelsea yeah. Chel- Chel- throwing a horse at a midget which was fun nice. the character design was really cool too you have, uh, you have like a, you have a. I I don't remember like a character all covered up in like a shit ton of scars. Like I don't remember the last time I saw that. That was scars? pretty cool. No, like yeah, like a shit ton everywhere. Oh okay. Yeah. And then having a midget, no, kind of a midget, be the main character. That. I mean, was, what do you mean, kind of? He is a midget. I mean, yeah. the proportions are definitely off. Like, it just kind of looks like you. Like he kind of looks like a chibi fan drawing, but he's it actually in the story. Like if he was chibi the whole time. Yeah, I think the art style kind of helps to mitigate that um, <clears throat> uncanny valley of what it being like realistic. I mean, like, yeah, as allowing and, you to think of it mm-hmm. kind of as useless as the rogue was. He was still kind of a character in a way, you know, you don't, you're not really there to see what he's going to do, but you know, he just does stuff and you're like, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Oh, that rogue. Yeah. And the ending, I guess I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a little satisfied with it, but uh, I was expecting some, I was expecting an explosion. Uh, Sass, what did you think of uh, our reading of Chimney Speak? This this re- this chapter. Hmm. Well, overall, did it feel like it was the end. oh, the end definitely felt like it was tying up every single sort of loose. Even the fact, even the conflict of Elgi sort of being angry at uh, Alice for the child thing that was discussed in the bar, separate from everything, and and sort of it sort of. Uh, Everyone, everything's like, is uh, hmm. everything is 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 being wrapped up in a sense, uh, it, it in such a way that I think I, I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's a natural way to <laughs> wrap it up. Like she wouldn't do anything if he. Well, I guess the the, the relationship they had together because he helped her. She wouldn't attack him again, and he she she let him go. Uh, Chelsea let Algy go. Is what I mean, I, and I think yeah, well, she's got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, she's she wants to become fucking, the queen of England. Yeah, so. she's off to kill the monarchies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but otherwise, it, it's uh, <laughs> the fight scenes. Like the last one regarding. Uh, at first, when I was looking at that, I didn't get it. It was a bit unclear. The the one between uh, Chelsea and the Scots. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it was a bit confusing in my, my when I was looking at it initially. So That's, yeah, uh, and you can see that also in a few other, um, a few other hide scenes as well. It's not, mm-hmm. bad. but yeah. So yeah. it's said. Uh, sorry, sorry. Just use your words. You said it's sort of. It's sort of. Uh, What's what's the what's the term? Slap dash. Slap, slap yeah. dash. Yeah. Yeah. It's just fair. I mean, it happens. It happens. And la- and lastly, Stanton, how do you feel about our reading of uh, of Chimney Speak? I liked it. Um, I actually kind of felt an attachment to my character, which is cool because a lot of these characters are kind of like whatever, but uh, yeah. he, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, Elgi is a really is an actually pretty complex and well-written, well-rounded character. Definitely. Um, and I, I think how it ended, like like everyone else said, it's kind of it, it ended quickly and um, there, it could have been uh, a lot more to it, but uh, but for at what least it, it doesn't is, overstate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for what it is, like they they did make the effort to close it out nicely. It wasn't. Uh, it, it didn't leave a bunch of holes open or anything. It was it was a pretty well rounded. Everyone everyone uh, happy. Uh, all, all the good people got uh, got their way and ended up happy in the end, happy ending, and and he got laid with yeah. the chick with the big titties. So good for him. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's how you know yeah. it's a good ending. Got his big titty whore girlfriend. Actually, well, speaking, speaking, of big no titty, speaking of big titty, whatever happened to LG's alcohol like spirit? Yeah, I think maybe we. Sh- Maybe well, if we actually knew French, we may have understood it. Um, Maybe that, that that spirit is from absinthe. Yeah, it's green fairy. Ah. Uh, so as long as you're not drinking absinthe, which has the wormwood that makes you hallucinate, you're good. Understandable. Yeah. Well, the, and we did see the right. What do you green think of the uh, comic? What up, my ninjas? Oh my god! Oh my! Here to god. ruin the outro, Brian. Is just, guy. Is this, are we just gonna have people show up at the last second every time? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I so did it. The ending yeah. of the last yeah. surprise chapter. guest, Brian guy, our audio editor. How about this, uh, future Brian? Insert your opinion here. I thought the Chelsea and the Highlanders ending was really, 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 really bad. That fight sequence made no sense. Really hard to follow. Kind of a letdown. I like LG's and Allison's arc, and I like how that wraps up nicely. But I wish I could have done more with Chelsea and the Highlanders. That's kind of it. I got a tip for now. You guys later. Hey, Bye. Later. Have later. a good one. Nice meeting you. Adios. Right. Nice meeting you. Anyway, I think it is it. It is time to say goodbye, boys. Join us next time when we read something else. I'm still oh. trying to figure out what that is. Actually, no. Um, next week, we are going to be uh, visiting a, another new comic. A, one that we haven't read at all uh, called Modest Medusa. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never read that before. Back, back to Can't the Medusa? Wait. We never record. They don't know that we recorded that in October because it was Brad Medusa? messed up. Oh, oh, really? Oh, huh. yeah. I wonder what that one's about. Yeah, probably a Medusa who's modest. I don't like modest. snakes. Snakes? Why did it have to be I don't snakes? Like snakes? Of course, Snap it gets everywhere. Snake. Oh, steppy, snakey. Anyway. Time to say goodbye, boys. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. Woo.